Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I have an empties video to film today. As you can see, the bin is majorly overflowing. I try to do these every month, but I think I'm behind almost a month. So this is probably closer to two months of products just because coming off of summer, it's really busy here. I'm sure for most of you, if your kids are home, if you have kids. So I have not had time to film one of these. So it is long overdue and I need to get this emptied out and into recycling. So as always, I'm just gonna pull stuff and talk about it and let's get started. So uh, vitamins, actually I think I'll just wait till I get down more with vitamins. I'm just gonna kinda pull different products out because vitamins are quick since I go through those every month. Anyway, so I've talked about this product before. It's the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It is like a fragrance free, but it does have a lotion smell. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I get these at BJ's because they are the larger 18 ounce bottles and they come with two of these in a pack and then like a travel size one in a tube. I love this lotion. I've already repurchased it. My son mainly uses it, but I like it, and my husband will use it as well. It's just like a very universal lotion, so I will continue to pick that up. This is an Olay body wash. It is the uh, Star Hibiscus, or Star Apple and Hibiscus. It was okay. Um, I It did not wow me. I definitely prefer Dove, so I would not repurchase this, but I have tried other Olay body washes, not this line that I have liked, but I just thought that one was kind of average. Speaking of Dove, I really liked this Dove hand soap. Um, I never noticed that I think they just recently started making it hand soap which you guys I'm sure have noticed a lot of brands that never made hand soap before all of a sudden making hand soap because of the pandemic has sparked people to want to wash their hands more to me that's kind of weird because I've always been majorly into hand soap and washing my hands but anyways this is the Dove deep cleansing hand wash renewing care in peony and rose oil and it was really good. I really liked it. I have nothing bad to say. I would repurchase this. This scent was nice, but I would try other ones. I got it at Walmart, but I think they have it at Target and probably even like some major grocery stores at this point. This is a 13.5 ounce bottle and it was just a really nice hand soap. It lathered well. It made my hands feel good. And I would definitely recommend it. These, I told you guys, I think in two empties ago that I would tell you about. These I was hoping could be a dupe or a replacement for the First Aid Beauty um, pads, facial pads that I use. These were really nice. I already have repurchased another one. Um, they're the Joa brand Daily Glow Peel Pads uh, with glycolic acid, PHA, and papaya extract. I'm pretty sure, yes. These are made by the Kiss brand. So the Kiss brand also makes, let me get them. The Kiss brand also makes the lashes that I use. Kiss makes a lot of products. They make like the uh, stick-on nails as well. But anyways, they obviously, I'm guessing, have another this other line um, with other products. But anyways, I did like these. They were like $12 or $13. They are $50 in a pack, so I use one a day. And they were really nice. I do prefer still the First Aid Beauty ones, but I talked about that how the price has gone up to $40 for those. So I'm really not trying to buy those unless they are on sale or if I can find them at like TJ Maxx or something, which I have in the past. So I will continue to repurchase these. However, if I, when I can score the First Aid Beauty ones either on sale or in, a, in you know another place that I don't have to pay retail, I'll per repurchase those for sure, but these are working just fine for now. Um, Kiss lashes, I showed you guys these a few times. These are the lashes that I use. I use the pompadour style. Um, I highly recommend these if you're somebody that does like to do false lashes, like strip lashes. I use the number 11 Kiss for years, but I recently, well, I would say in the past year, I switched to the pompadour and I like them much better. So I definitely recommend those. 
This I am obsessed with. It is one of my holy grail products that I discovered last year. Um, my best friend is an esthetician, so she told me about the uh, this product, the La Roche-Posay B5. Uh, is, this is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I get this at Ulta. I think they have it at other places. It's about $30 or $35, um, but I absolutely love it, and I notice a difference in my skin. I notice a difference when I don't use it. So I have already repurchased this exact bottle. This one's just an empty. I kept the box so you could recognize what it looked like if you want to try it out since it comes in a box like this and you won't be able to see the bottle. So I highly recommend that 100%. This is a eye makeup remover from Walgreens. It's the Walgreens brand. It's an oil-free and I talked about this I think in the last empties. It has one of the tops where you put the cotton pad here and then you push down and the product goes up onto the pad. Um, I really liked this product. I think I like the CVS brand just a little bit more, but I do plan to keep this empty bottle to refill because you can remove the cap with other product. Um, I don't know if I'd run out and repurchase this, but it was really nice. I just like the CVS one better, but I will keep that bottle for future I might even put the CBS one in here because I like the dispenser on it. Um, this is a makeup setting or makeup finishing or setting spray by Scandinavia. Um, I purchased this right when the shutdown started. I think in like February, yeah, like a month before lockdown. Um, and then because everything got shut down, I really did not wear makeup. So I really did not use this for a while after I purchased it because I was working from home. I wasn't going anywhere like most of you guys. I was just staying at home except to like go get groceries. Um, but I did actually just use this all up. I finished it a couple weeks ago and it was nice. It sprayed well. It worked well. I don't have anything bad to say about it, but I don't think I would repurchase it again because this is a product like the makeup setting sprays. I like to try different things. Um, until I find something that I'm just blown away by and this did not blow me away although it was very nice and I have no complaints so let me see if I can pull out all the vitamins just to show you really quick because you guys know my vitamin routine already if you've watched any of my empties I think this is it so I went through this huge bottle of it's 180 smarty pants my son's multivitamin with omega-3 fish oil and vitamin D. He's been using these for years. Um, I think you can start using these at age four. Yes. Yeah, so he's been using, he's been taking these since he was four. He will be 10 in November. So that's how long we've been on these. Nothing bad to say. I love these. I've already repurchased them. In fact, I have back stock of these because I stocked up when the shutdown happened and a lot of vitamins and things were selling out. We also went, he also went through a probiotic gummy for kids. <clears throat> um, these are 60 gummies. The dosage is two a day, but my son does not like the taste of these. So I can get him to take one a day, barely. So we did go through one of these in the past couple months. And then we went through two of the elderberry for kids. These are, um, all these I get on Amazon <clears throat> auto delivery. These, this dose, the dose on this is two a day, so one month, two months, which is how long it's been since I have filmed an empties almost. I'm just going to put these over here on the couch. Um, this is a suave shampoo, the tea tree and hemp seed oil. It was okay. I did not love this. I had high hopes for this because I love this suave shampoo so much. Um, but I found this one just to be okay. It did smell nice. I will give it that. It had a really nice smell. It wasn't terrible. I just would definitely not repurchase it again, but I am glad I tried it so I know. And this is the Suave. Um, this is the conditioner which matches with the shampoo that I am obsessed with. The shampoo version of this is amazing. I have already repurchased it. I actually have one in my shower already. This was just the coordinating conditioner, and it was pretty good. Um, I probably would repurchase this, actually, although I mainly use the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle. Oops, that was really nice as well. Okay, 
Uh, let me do some wipes really quickly. I'm trying to do like things if I can. So, I don't know why I kept these. Um, I guess I must have just run them in there. This is the brand Millie Moon. It's from Target. I did not care for these. I thought they were just uh, below average. Maybe that's why I put them in here to talk about how much I didn't like them. Um, I definitely wouldn't repurchase them. I just noticed this brand and wanted to try them out because they were new to me. Um, they also make diapers, and I don't know what else they make, but I wouldn't repurchase those, unfortunately. I did not like them. I went through two of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Makeup Wipes. I think I bought these together in a dual pack at, like, Walmart. Um, they were really nice. I don't think I'd run out and repurchase them. They didn't blow me away, but they were just fine. They did the job, and I really just like that Neutrogena Hydro Boost line. And then this is just a travel pack of the Target Up and Up brand of makeup removing wipes that I brought on our trips. We took a couple trips back in August, and we were gone a total of about nine days, so this was perfect. It was a 10-pack. So nothing bad to say on those as well. I like those little travel packs when I do different trips. Um, looks like I have some hand soaps and other hand soaps in here. I think that's it. So aside from the Dove, the other two hand soaps that I kept for this empties is the Bath & Body Works Sweet Mint and & Rain and the Bath & Body Works Orange Sunrise. We did go through more soaps than this in the past couple months, but I don't keep them all because the bin would just fill up way too quickly and I'd be talking about hand soaps for half the video. But I do try to keep the ones that really stand out to me that I either really love or if I hate something, I will put that in here too. Um, I really liked these two scents. Not sure if they still have them because they're more of an obviously spring and summer scent. Um, and now I'm getting into the fall scents, which is super exciting. But I did really like those a lot. Um, oh, this. This is a Tatcha. Let me take it out of the package. It is the the Deep Cleanse. It's a, um, obviously by Tatcha. I got this at Sephora when it was on... I think I got this on the VIB sale, and plus I had like a gift card or something. Uh, I love this cleanser. It's very bougie. It's very luxury. Very expensive. I think this is around $40, which is crazy because it's only a 5-ounce bottle. However, when I do buy these, which I would say I buy one of these maybe once or twice a year, um, I don't use them every day because I obviously they're expensive and I want to make it make them last. So when I do buy these or maybe I get them as a gift, I'll use them maybe a couple to I'll use this maybe a couple times a week. Um, I don't know, maybe two or three times a week just to make it last because it's very luxurious. It's a beautiful cleanser. I, ha I literally have nothing bad to say about it except I wish it was more affordable. But it's not because Tatcha is a very expensive brand. I actually want to try a lot of things from this brand, but the price is just so steep. And because I go through so many products, I just can't buy every single product to bougie. Do you know do you know what I mean? I like to do a mix of high and low end. Definitely leaning more towards low end. Uh, looks like I have another lash in here. Again, this was a almost a two-month um video and actually I do go through one of these it's a five pack I do go through one of these about every three weeks so that makes sense that I have two of them in there I think I'm actually almost done with the third one as well I really love this this is definitely one of my standout products in this particular empties video it's the Thayer's brand facial toner with witch hazel in the cucumber scent I love this. I've already repurchased another one. I actually already repurchased a coconut one as well as another cucumber one. They're very affordable. I like them as much as the Bioderma, and you guys know how much I love that Bioderma one. Um, but that one is not always in stock. I do have one, but I'm really on the kick of using this right now. I love it. I use it every morning and every night. It makes my face feel so clean. And so nice. You can get them at Ulta, Target, and I even think Walmart. Yeah, Walmart carries this as well. I like the cucumber. I'm using the coconut right now, and it's really nice. I highly recommend it, and they're about, I don't know, $7 to $10, depending where you get them. 
Um, this is an OG favorite. It's the Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. Wash. I've used this on and off for years. I'm going to say maybe five years or more. Um, I buy one maybe, sometimes I forget about this, but when I remember, I'll usually buy two at a time, which in this case I did. I have this one that's completely empty and a new one that I have not broken into yet. This is a pretty large bottle. It's 11.8, which is large for a facial scrub or wash. This lasts forever. I literally used this bottle every day. I used it every day, I think once, sometimes twice a day, um, for about maybe three to four months. And again, that's daily use, sometimes twice a day use. It's a wonderful wash. It's definitely ranks in like my top 10 all time favorite facial washes, scrubs. It is amazing. I highly recommend it and it's affordable. I think this is about, I'm going to guess maybe 12 to $15, but it will last a long time. It's good for all skin types. It is an amazing face wash at a really good price. Um, I've got a Bath and Body Works lotion in here. This is the Magnolia Charm. I got this at the semi-annual sale. Um, and this is one of the few items in that sale that I kept. It's bothering me that there's a little bit on the bottom. Um, but anyways, nothing bad to say. I don't normally buy Bath and Body Works body lotions because of the price, but this I think I paid $2 and change for, so I couldn't pass it up. It smelled really nice. I do like Bath and Body Works lotions, but again, I don't pay, I don't, I don't want to pay full price. So I'll just do drugstore and then when I can get them like super cheap, I will grab them as well because we do go through quite a bit of lotion. Um, this is just a face scrub. It's the Neutrogena Oil Free Acne Wash. To be honest, my son mainly used this. Um, this is something we kept in the shower. I used it a few times, but I have used this scrub before in years past. It's nice. I have nothing bad to say. It's very basic. It gets the job done. And my son really likes the Neutrogena scrubs for the shower. Um, these are the Dentec Kids Fun Flossers. I threw them in here because I love, my son loves these. Um, it's just a great way for, to get my son to floss every single day. Um, he just does better with these than regular traditional dental floss. So I did want to mention, cause I know a lot of people have kids and I know kids can often be lazy sometimes with flossing, even some adults. Um, this is an Airwick essential mist, sweet fruit and nut oil thing that goes with that. I don't know if it's going to focus that black thing right there. It's just a oil diffuser and I get them at Ollie's. Although last time I went to Ollie's, they did not have any more, um, which is a bummer because they were a lot cheaper there. They're $1.99. So I actually have to go to Ollie's this week for some other things. So I'm hoping I can find these. And if so, I'm going to get like 10 of them to last me for a long time. Um, very exciting for me. I finished a bottle of perfume, which is a big deal for me. Um, takes me forever to go through a bottle of perfume and there's something so completely satisfying about it to me. This is literally five years old. Literally. I bought this when I still lived in South Carolina and I think it was like a year and a half before we moved from South Carolina back to New York and we've been in New York three and a half years. So if you do the math, five years I've had this bottle. Um, it's the Replica Lipstick On Scent. Um, I heard about this about five years ago from Makeup by Tiffany D. She raved about it. I did really love it at first, and then I kind of grew, I did kind of like not liked it for, I, I loved it at first, then I kind of lost interest in it, um, and then I kind of reignited my interest for it. I don't know how to explain it, but I obviously used it all up. This is a big bottle. It was like a, I think this is a 3.4 ounce, like, big bottle. But yeah, there's a little bit left, but the sprayer won't spray. So it is completely empty in my eyes because it I can't get any product out and this does not open. Very happy to see this go. <clears throat> I would not repurchase this. Um, this is not a scent everybody would like. And honestly, I don't even, I doubt it's even available anymore um, unless you buy it pre-owned. But Overall, it was okay. I had my moments where I loved it and had my moments where I didn't, but it was just so satisfying to use it up and I don't have to deal with it anymore and I'm on to the next. I'm actually going through a Clinique Happy right now that I bought also a long time ago, probably like four years ago. Um, but yeah, it was exciting to use that up. 
This is another standout product in this uh, video. This is a product I use for my son. It is called Suavecito. As you can see, it's a pomade. I don't think there's anything in here for me to show you. I'm pretty sure this is bone dry. I can't even open it. This is amazing. If you have obviously a son with hair that likes, like you like to style his hair, I cannot highly, I cannot recommend this enough. I have tried with my son all different hairsprays, all different gels, all different mousses. Hands down, this blows everything I've ever tried with him away. We do not use hairspray, gel, or mousse at all anymore. This is the only thing we use on his hair. It makes his hair look so cute, so put together. It lasts all day. I do his hair pretty early, like 6.30 in the morning, because we leave for school around 7.30. And when he comes home from school, it is still exactly the way that it looks when we left the house. It's easy to wash out, it's not sticky, it smells amazing, I love this stuff. We do get it from our barber, but I'm sure, yeah, you can, there's a website right here, suavecito.com. So if you want a screenshot or write this down, if you're looking for something for your kid, um, or even like a teenager that does their own hair, this is amazing, I promise you, you will love this. And you will never use hairspray mousse or gel again once you try this, it's amazing and it's very affordable. Um, this I get from our barber for like 10 or $12 and this lasts me three to four months with every single day use. Um, another lotion I went through from Bath and Body Works, actually there's a couple of them. These were just freebies. I get the Bath and Body Works coupons all the time. I feel like every month they send me a coupon for a free tra travel size. Um, and then also like a 20% off coupon. So I picked out Hello Beautiful and Dahlia. They were both really nice. Um, this one I brought on our trips in August and went through the whole thing. It was the perfect size for those two trips. And this one I actually think I used as a hand cream because it's, this is a cream and this is a lotion. So this one is thicker and it was really, really nice. I enjoyed both of these very much and I would definitely purchase either one of these scents when I can find them on the next semi-annual sale, which will probably be in January. Uh, we went through, I went through a hand sanitizer. I've definitely gone through more of these. I just sometimes forget to put products into the bin. Sometimes I'll run out of things and absentmindedly, you know, put them in the recycling or absentmindedly if I'm out in public or something, I'll toss them in like a trash can. But this is the Everyone brand Ruby, Ruby Grapefruit Hand Sanitizer Spray. I wasn't crazy about the scent, but I really like this product. I have gone through several of this brand of hand sanitizer sprays and they're really nice. I would definitely repurchase. Um, we definitely went through more than one Colgate total. There's probably three to four of these that we went through, but certain things, certain products, like for example, wipes, um, we go through a ton of wipes and obviously we go through toothpaste. I'm not going to just keep putting repetitive things in here. So like if I have, you know, six packages of wipes, I might put one or four of these, I might put one. So I'm just trying to be, if I remember, I'm trying to think ahead to not fill up the bin with repetitive things of like six of the same thing. Hopefully that makes sense. I love this product. Uh, it's the Bosha brand and this is the Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. This has like a cult following. It, ha it This is amazing. I would definitely repurchase this again. It is expensive. This is just a travel size that I took on my trips. I think the full size is probably close to $30 now, maybe more, um, but I would get this. It's actually on my list next time Sephora has a sale. I also get Sephora gift cards for Christmas and my birthday. I think last year I had like $250 in Sephora gift cards. So I will, de I definitely have this on my list to get next time I either have gift cards, a sale, that kind of thing. I love this. It's really good for taking off your makeup. This was a freebie I got as like a gift with purchase. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. This is really nice. I have nothing bad to say. I wouldn't repurchase it, mainly because I have other items like this that I'm still working my way through. But this is really nice. Um, if I happen to think of it one day and it was right in front of me and I didn't have anything like this, I would definitely pick up the full size. It's really nice. Um, this is an eye cream I went through. It's a L'Oreal Eye Defense. I did not 
I thought this was just okay. I would not repurchase it. I got it at Walmart. It was pretty affordable for an eye cream. I think it was like $12, but I didn't notice much of a difference. I actually like the Clinique Moisture Search eye cream much better, um, so I wouldn't get that. And then lastly is a lone brush. This is the, probably won't focus, but it's the Luxie brand. I bought a set of these from Nordstrom, I don't know, last year, maybe 18 months ago. It was like a set of six brushes, and they were really nice. They were affordable, I think, for six brushes, and I got, this was on sale, mind you. I think it was like $50, but that's a set of six, like foundation, powder, eye, all different contouring brushes. Um... I really liked this. It's just at the end of its life. I've cleaned it a few times and, you know, let it air dry and that kind of thing. But the, it's just, it's at the end of its life. That's all I can really say. It's beyond my, I don't know, standard of use. So, um, I plan to repurchase, not this, but the brush that I really love is by It Cosmetics. It's a foundation brush by them. I forget the name of it. Um, but I want, I actually have to purchase that this week because this one is gone and I've been using my hands to apply my foundation and I really need to get the It Cosmetics brush that I really love. So I feel like this video was really long. Um, I have stuff everywhere. But anyways, I'm so glad I got this filmed. Thank you for bearing with me. I know these are very wordy and long-winded, but I really like talking about the different products briefly with you guys but thank you as always so much for watching if you're new here to my channel and you're just on an empties binge watching kick i have a whole playlist of these linked down below over the span of many years at this point um but yeah i hope you enjoyed it have a great day and i will see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.